Hello everyone, welcome to another video of knowledge of life. Today in this video we will discuss about the chromosome aberrations. Now aberration can be of various types. It can be the variation in the number of chromosome whereas there can be variation in the structure of the chromosome. So today in this video we will mainly discuss about the variation in number of chromosomes. So now let's start. Now we all know that each species has got a definite number of chromosomes consisting of sets where an organism may contain one set of chromosome which is called monoploid whereas another organism can contain two set or more than two set of chromosome and the number of sets present on the basis of chromosome is known as ploidy. Now, the variation on the basis of the number can be of two types. One is euploidy and another one is aneuploidy. Now, when the variation is based on the number of sets of chromosome present, then those are known as euploid. That is, the organism have got a multiples of the basic sets of chromosome present. And euploidy is much more common in case of plants than that of animals. And it is often observed in case of higher order of plants. Now, euploidy can be of various types. When there is presence of a single set, then that is known as monoploid and when there are two sets of chromosome or there is presence of two chromosome in each set then that is known as diploid and when there is presence of more than two sets of chromosome then those are known as polyploid or the phenomenon is known as polyploidy now polyploidy can be of two types one is autopolyploidy and another one is allopolyploidy where the autopolyploidy takes place between the same kind of species and the allopolyploidy takes place in different species and the autopolyploidy is a natural phenomenon where there is crossing between same species and a various sets of chromosome are produced in the offspring generation. Now autopolyploidy can be of various types that is it can be triploid, it can be tetraploid, it can be pentaploid and so on. And in case of allopolyploidy there can also be this kind of types that is triploid, tetraploid, pentaploid but the basic difference is the different in species and the allopolyploidy is mainly used for artificial production of plants and it is often used in agricultural purposes for higher production of the crops. Now if we look at this picture we can have a better idea of the variations taking place during euploidy. In the first stage that is the diploid one there is a normal chromosome complement that is there is presence of two chromosome in each set. In case of monoploid only one set of chromosome is present and in case of triploid there is more than one chromosome that is there are three chromosome present in each set and in tetraploid there is presence of four chromosome in each set and on the increasing number the ploidy also changes and there is presence of pentaploidy, hexaploidy, heptaploidy and so on. Now there is a correlation between the ploidy level and the size of the organism. The higher is the ploidy level, the larger is the size of the organism. And the ploidy with odd number of chromosome sets are often sterile in nature because there is a problem in pairing of the cells during the time of meiosis 
as the synapses can take place only between two of the three homologous chromosome and the offspring generation are often sterile in nature due to this reason. Now let's talk about aneuploidy. When there is a loss or gain of the number of chromosome and there is a change in the total number of chromosome where it doesn't involve in any change of number of sets then that is known as aneuploidy and aneuploidy is very much common in case of the human population. Now the basic reason of aneuploidy is the non-disjunction during the time of mitosis and meiosis. Now let's talk about the types of aneuploidy taking place in human body. A human aneuploidy includes both autosomal as well as sex chromosomal aneuploidies and on the basis of loss or gain the aneuploidies can be of different types. Now as we all know that normal chromosomal complement for human chromosome is 2n that is each set is made up of two chromosomes. Now when there is nullisomic taking place there is deletion of a single set that is two chromosomes are deleted from the sets of chromosome. Now in case of monosomic there is only deletion of one chromosome from a set there is no other deletions taking place that is other sets are 2n in nature. In case of double monosomic there is deletion of one chromosome from two of the sets of the chromosome but the other chromosome present in the other set remains same. In case of trisomic there is addition of one chromosome in a 2n set that is the other set of chromosome consists of 2n number of chromosome and one set consists of three chromosomes. In case of tetrasomic there is addition of another two chromosome in one single set and in case of double tetrasomic there is addition of two chromosome in two of the sets of the chromosomal series but there is no other addition of chromosome in the other series. Now when there is a loss of chromosome then that is known as hypopolyploidy and when there is a gain of chromosome then that is known as hyperpolyploidy. Now on the basis of the types of aneuploidy a human can have autosomal aneuploidy and sex chromosomal aneuploidy and on the basis of that one can have different kind of syndromes. Now at first let's talk about Down syndrome. In case of Down syndrome there is a trisomy of the chromosome number 21 where there is a extra set of chromosome present in the karyotype of the chromosome number 21 in a human and due to that there can be decreased in muscle tone of the individual asymmetrical skull shape slanting eyes and there can also be a mod mild to moderate mental retardation present in that individual. Now let's talk about Edward syndrome. It is also another kind of trisomy but the trisomy takes place in chromosome number 18. Here an extra chromosome is present in the 18th karyotype of the human chromosome. In this case there are various kind of abnormalities present in the individual. There can be mental and motor retardation, numerous congenital anomalies which can cause serious kind of health issues and they have got a characteristics hand appearance with clenched hand and overlapping fingers. Now let's talk about Patau syndrome. 
It is also known as D syndrome or the trisomy 13. Here also a extra chromosome is present in the 13th karyotype of the human chromosome. In this case the major symptoms are somewhat similar to that of the trisomy 18 or the Edwards syndrome but they do not have got the characteristics hand shape which is present in Edwards syndrome and all of these syndromes falls under the category of the autosomal aneuploidy that is these syndromes only take place when there is a deformity in the autosomal chromosomes now let's talk about the sex chromosomal aneuploidies in human at first let's talk about turner syndrome in this case there is a monosomic taking place where there is a decrease in the number of sex chromosome and there is only presence of a single X chromosome instead of double X and XY sex chromosome in case of female there is a retarded sexual development and the females are usually sterile in nature and they have got a short stretcher with webbing of skin in the neck region and cardiovascular abnormalities and hearing impairment. Now in case of Kleinfelder syndrome there is presence of XXY instead of XY in case of male or sometime there can be presence of XXXY, XXXXY or double X and double Y. Now the male can be suffertile with small testes development and there can also be development of breast where there can be feminine pitched voice and long limbs present with knock knees and they can often have a rambling talkativeness. Now in case of super female syndrome there is an extra X chromosome present in the sex chromosome and the girls tend to be thin and tall in nature and have got a higher incidence of dyslexia. Now if we talk about Cryduchat syndrome here no extra chromosome or no loss of chromosome takes place but there is a deletion of a part of the short arm of the chromosome number 5 in the human karyotype that is there is a deletion of the part of the p arm of the chromosome and the affected babies have got a high pitched cries which sound like cat as a result of that it is named so and the babies often have white set of eyes and have got a small head and jaw and they are moderate to severe mental health problems and they are very short heighted Now coming to the end we can say that numerical changes in chromosome can be of two types that is euploidy and aneuploidy. When the variation takes place in a whole set then that is called euploidy and when the variation takes place in the total number of chromosome and there is no other variation in the set then that is called aneuploidy. And Euploidy takes place generally in case of higher order of plants and aneuploidy is commonly seen in human population and euploidy is of three types that is monoploidy, diploidy and polyploidy and aneuploidy is of two types that is hypoploidy and hyperploidy in hyperploidy there is addition of chromosome that is trisomy and tetrasomy and in case of hypoploidy there is decrease in the number of chromosome that is monosomy and nullisomy. So in the next video we will discuss about the chromosomal mutations or the variation in the structure of chromosome and hope this video will help you and if you have any kind of query regarding the video you can put a question in the comment box and please subscribe the channel if you like the video thank you